Good afternoon, everyone. It is David Schlothauer here in the home weather office for July the 10th, 2023. I hope you're having a fantastic rest of your Monday. In this update, we are keeping an eye on the oppressive heat that is going to be building across much of California, Nevada, and the desert southwest. We're expecting temperatures that could reach between 110 to near 118 degrees in the hottest spots with Death Valley that could make a reach for 130 degrees. This is going to be a pretty quick update, so we're just going to get right into things here across the United States. We always like showing you the precipitation forecast, so at least I am covering the entire United States. So I'm not just focusing on the desert southwest, but... The whole point of this video will be the focus on the serious heat in the desert southwest. So we got a low pressure system across the Hudson Bay bringing showers and thunderstorms. We got showers down here across the southeast. We got more thunder activity going on across the northeast today with more showers popping up across the Midwest. We're just going to fast forward this all the way through, say, Thursday, where we have several disturbances that are going to be moving in out of the northwest, bringing, again, more impulses of vorticity, more showers and thunderstorm chances, maybe some more severe weather here over the northeast. And then going forward here, go all the way into Friday, we have more shower chances over the Midwest, more thunder showers, and uh, heavy rain chances for the eastern seaboard and for the southeast. But look at the desert southwest in California, monsoon free. That means conditions are going to be perfect very favorable for getting temperatures over 115 degrees for several days, possibly close to 120 degrees, the hottest spots. More on that in just a second. This continues all the way into Sunday, all the way into Monday next week with kind of the showers again, off again, you know, the whole diurnal cycle here of showers and storms over the high plains, the deep south, and also for the northeast as we have several shortwave disturbances moving from northwest to southeast. So now much of the focus of this video will be on the oppressive heat that is going to be building in. And I mean, folks, I'm pretty concerned about this and I'm not trying to use this to fear monger you all to hype this up, to get views or to get what. But this is a pretty serious deal. OK, wait until you see the temperatures. And this is from the European model, I'm not even showing you the GFS model today because the GFS wants it even hotter, which might be a little too much for this video, but either way you put it, wait until you see these temperatures. Man, it's really, really concerning. I also made a post on this on Facebook. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description leading to my Facebook page. Um, it's Sacramento Weather Center if you want to check that out because I go into pretty good detail on this heat wave. So this is a look at today's daytime high temperatures between 105 to 110 degrees across Phoenix, Arizona. Death Valley, maybe 110 today, maybe 110 degrees in Palm Springs, maybe about 95 to about almost 100 today across the Central Valley. The higher deserts also looking at some warming temperatures for the day. Let's go all the way. Let's just kind of fast forward this. We're going to see a carbon copy through the next couple of days. Temperatures kind of plateau, but it's more down here in the desert southwest for Wednesday. And temperatures are going to be between 111, maybe 115 degrees, which is enough to cause a lot of problems. There is moderate to major heat risk down there. And there's also a threat for temperatures to reach 100 degrees on Thursday or Wednesday across the majority of the Central Valley, except for our Delta favorite spots where temperatures will probably not get to 100 just yet. But wait until we get all the way into Friday. Let's fast forward the next couple of days here. Pretty much a carbon copy. This is for July the 14th on Friday. Yep, we got 115. We got even 117, even 118 down here across southeastern California. 111 to 105 degrees across much of the valley, Sacramento Valley, northern Sacramento, even in Fresno area. You're going to see some very hot temperatures, but it's only going to get worse from here. This is Friday, folks. The peak of the heat is on Sunday now, not Saturday. We might go up another degree between Saturday and the Sunday. Look at this. Uh, very hot for California. I mean, you got 116, 115 degrees, got 118 degrees. 
And yeah, that's Death Valley here on the European model, indicating temperatures could reach 121. This is not a high-resolution model, by the way, so keep that in mind. It'll be very, very hot in these areas. So the heat wave is on, and it's going to be pretty dangerous. By Monday, or yeah, by Sunday, that is, temperatures might peak here. I mean, this is very, very obnoxious on the European model. 123 degrees in the southern Central Valley, uh, 122, 124 in Death Valley, maybe even 116, 114, 116 here in Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, pretty, pretty serious. Let's kind of zoom in on this too. This is for the valley. 122, 123 degrees, either way you put it, very hot. I mean, this has been on a few of the model runs. This is 0Z from yesterday. Yeah, that's the 0Z from yesterday. Maybe a degree or two hotter. But look, at it's been very consistent here. So... Probably the hottest day, Saturday and Sunday, across much of the valley. Death Valley, probably reaching well in excess there of 124 degrees. The National Weather Service, if we actually go right over there, kind of bring this up really quickly. I wanted to show you all this because, you know, I do care about a lot of people that live over here. So let's click on the map. And I'll show you just how hot Death Valley is going to get. All right, let's go over to Death Valley right here. Furnace Creek, that is, right over here. Look at this. Let's take a look at the forecast. Let me full screen this. 124 on Friday. Look at this. 129 degrees on Sunday. I did say 130 potential. Yeah, we might get close to the world record high temperature. Not just an all-time record for the month of July, but could get close, awfully close, to an all-time record ever recorded on planet Earth on Sunday in Death Valley. Overnight lows right around 100 degrees. Yeah, talk about seriousness. That's seriousness in itself, okay? So... Yeah, it's going to be very dangerous. Something that you do not want to be in at all. Still pretty hot here on Monday. It's still very hot down here. 122, 124 degrees. Again, maybe 130 degrees in Death Valley. Can't rule that out. Still a slightly cooler for California finally, but it's going to be a little while before we get there. The reason why it is, again, this ridge is going to be building in. Look at this. 597 decameters by the weekend. Yeah, by Saturday and Sunday. Even getting awfully close to 600 decameters over our region. But look at this. 600 decameters, which is a measure of altitude of the 500 millibar level in decameters. So, in other words, 6,000 meters you have to go to get the 500 millibar level, which is higher than it should be. That's why this is higher than it really should be on a meteorological scale. Big old fat ridge here, gonna really cook this desert southwest to smithereens, especially Death Valley. Like I said, a degree away, might plus or minus that, 128 to 130 degrees. Can't rule that out, maybe even 131 degrees. And again, that is not far below the, the world record. Yeah, the world record, folks, the entire globe, the entire planet, we're getting involved here. So there's a real, a serious risk here, okay? Let's make this fuller. A excessive high risk for seriously hot temperatures, and that does cover Death Valley. Moderate risk for excessive heat for California, followed by a slight risk for excessive heat for even the Southeast and the Deep South. But really, man, I feel bad. Four Corners region and California are really going to be put to the test with their AC units. CalISO might have to cut power to a lot of people. Um, the, the grids could um, get overwhelmed because a lot of people are just going for the ACs. And that's what we don't want to have happen. We don't want the power grid to get overwhelmed for, uh, you know, and to cause problems like that. So maybe some outages. So this will look at the latest National Weather Service map. Okay, and they uh, this just updated. Excessive heat watches for the Bay Area, for the Central Valley, for Fresno, 
Fresno, maybe 116 degrees on the National Weather Service by Sunday, by the way. Even look at this. For Reno, for Lake Tahoe, uh, in excessive heat watches, excessive heat warnings down here across southeastern California. On top of that, it's not really explicitly mentioned here, but the air is going to be very dry. Okay, and maybe some breezy winds for the desert southwest. So we might have high fire danger to look forward to on top of the oppressive heat that California, Nevada, and Arizona will be dealing with. I mean, that's pretty serious, folks. I mean, 129 in Death Valley could be realized on Sunday. That's very hot. That's well into the triple digits, and you can't literally be outside at all in that because it's just too hot. Uh, fire weather conditions possible for the Pacific Northwest, including for Oregon and Washington. Oppressive heat, too, across Texas. A, a heat advisory is issued. We've got a flood watch issued for central Oklahoma. we got a couple of counties down here that are under excessive heat warnings also. So hot weather here and very hot weather here across the West. I know today was a pretty short discussion. That is because I am off to work after this and I wanted to get this video out to all of you that are living across much of the Intermountain West here going to deal with the heat. Please, please drink plenty of water, folks. We cannot get people dehydrated out there, especially on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Those four days, a quartet of days, where you're going to need to be sure you drink plenty of water, limit outdoor activities after about 9 in the morning. Earlier, the better. You avoid outdoor activities, the better you're off um, staying cool. Make sure you have your AC running efficiently. Not Don't turn it down to 60 degrees because that's going to overwhelm the power grid. Set it probably about 80 degrees. It's perfect temperature inside. And also, just guzzle that water. Just drink, drink, drink. Just guzzle as much water as you can to stay hydrated. And if you're working outside, make sure you wear sunscreen and protective clothing so you don't get burnt by the sun. Make sure you drink plenty of water. I just hope you all can be safe. And also, just a friendly reminder, if you're going out onto the lakes, rivers, and streams in California, they're running fast and cold because of the snow melt. So that is an added danger. You can get hypothermia very quickly just because it's 110 outside. The water does not follow the air temperature outside, and it does remain typically cold. So make sure you take that into consideration if going to Folsom Lake, if you're going to Lake Orville, if you're going to uh, New Melonius Lake, if you're going to Lake or Comanche Lake Reservoir, just keep that in mind. Cold and fast, these rivers and lakes are going to be. That is it for right now. Thank you all for watching this video. Share, like, and subscribe, and I'll have another update tomorrow.